It's a mountain where witches and wizards were always executed. He got there and pleaded with them, allow this woman to go. But they said never. He quoted the Quran for them and they later on understood him and released Adiza to him. But they warned him never to allow the woman to return to the community again because she was a witch. When she got there, Imam Baba Isa, the baby, back to Gambaga. They stayed with him for a year. And then later on, after the year, Kurazam Banchang Gambara Yinni, who was also the chief priest of Mampurugu. Kurapaya, Nsuhosugu, Kagambara Ndia, Karazo Unambo, Ntupalo, Kumia Kangwano Bila Biani. As time goes on, the women started increasing. Women in the Northeast region communities started coming. They ran there for their own safety because the community has turned their back against them, accuse them of witchcraft, or is either killing someone, or bewitching someone, or inflicting someone with sickness. They have no other places to go. When you turn here, no, you are a witch, we can't take you. Your father's house, we cannot accept you. So the Gambaga witch camp, out of the six witch camps in Ghana here, which are all located in the uh, northeast and the northern region, are the places where women like me can always run to for protection. After giving them the place to stay, when the women started increasing, out of one round horse, I saw you today that when you go to the Gambaga witch camp, it's now about 50 camps that are there. 50 rounds, uh, 50 round holes that are there. And they all accommodate about 150 women, all from different communities. So after that, when a woman is being accused of killing someone or being accused of bewitching someone, the person is being brought there. Do you know that these women are staying there without any help from the government. No help 
from any organizations, they suffer to make a living. They either carry firewood on their head to sell in order to get food to eat. Some of them fetch water. Some of them go out there to make labor, like to go into farms. Not all the women that have been accused of witchcraft are really witches. We do not say witch or witchcraft does not exist. It does. But as a human being, do you have the right to kill your human colleague? As it is written both in the Bible and the Quran, as a human being, you have no right to take another person's life. It is only Almighty God that gives life. He's the only person that can take life. So let us all come together. Let us all fight against the brutalizations of dehumanizing people around our communities. Not only the witch camp in Gambaga, that is the only tourist place. We have the Nigerian defense world. We have the cement industry that is going on in Mojo and many others. And as you follow me, Annabelle, as I take you through my community and my region, I have a lot to tell you. I have a lot to show you. So stay with me. Thank you. Uh, I thank you very much, Annabelle. From afar, I would say that unfortunately, I don't have any marks to give her. So the judges. On this one, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Annabelle. Yeah, you have done well. Uh, very marvelously. Because uh, today is Torix D. But uh, your performance, I have a problem with your performance. Because you were, you were supposed to have two last. How the Gambaga camp was started. But in your speech, in your presentation, I didn't hear something like that. And again, uh, when somebody is being accused of witchcraft, Maybe something has happened. Somebody is in critical condition. I was expecting you to, in your plea, something like that. Maybe somebody is in a critical condition, like in a state of death or sickness, so that it will, that, that performance can portray what you are trying to bring about. But I have not seen something like that. But you have done well. 